Hey everybody, OCD Mikey, Hi-Fi Guy here, and I am about ready to do a video for you guys. It's coming right up, and we are going to do the ultimate test here with two very different types of isolation. Um, what we've got on here is the Townsend um, isolation platform. Over here we've got Live Vibe, formerly Star Sound. It's the Live Vibe rack. And they go about isolation in two very different ways. What this is, is this is actually, they're, they're only one's isolation. This is to decouple your speaker or your amp from the ground. This one is to very much couple your speaker or your amp to the ground. So this is coupling, rigid coupling. This is spring decoupling. Okay, um, there are two different ways of going about the same issue, which is vibration within a component. So let's say you have this amplifier. Let's say we put it here. This amplifier has two types of vibration. It's got vibration that comes from these subs, putting you know vibration into the air and causing these metal pieces to resonate with certain frequencies. Okay, so that's external vibration. We also have internal vibration. In this one, it doesn't have much because the power supply is out here. We get DC power here. But if this was AC power, like you plug the power cord right into this, we would have a 60 hertz oscillation. We would have different micro vibrations. There's micro vibrations that happen that are internal, that are, that are, that are generated within the amplifier, within the DAC, within whatever piece it is. They have their own vibrations and you need to drain the vibration out of the piece for its best performance. What this product does is it decouples things from the floor. Now, the idea behind that is, is let's say right now we're on a concrete slab. If we were on a wood floor that was suspended like a joist floor, uh, the floor could potentially vibrate too. It doesn't in here. I'm on a concrete slab. But if this was a wood joist floor, second level, the floor would probably move and vibrations can come up through the feet. That's why the speakers have spikes on them is to make a little small tip so that vibration doesn't go up, that it, it comes down instead of going up and it sort of isolates them. But this takes it a step further. This puts a rubber coated spring on here and the spring, um, well, let me make this simple. This doesn't truly decouple. These are both coupling, okay? Unless we're in space, we are not decoupled. There's this thing called gravity on the planet Earth, and that means everything's coupled here. As long as we have gravity, it's coupled. This is slow coupling. This is fast coupling, okay? This, what this tries to do is take the vibration and trap it in the spring. It tries to, it, it is going to eventually take it down to the pad, but it is going to go through that spring and that rubber. This is meant to eat it up, turn it to heat right here, rather than transmit it down to the floor. This piece is meant to take uh, vibration out, and, and, and I know this is an inverted cone, but on the other side, there's a piece here that you can't see, which is a, a disc that goes underneath the piece and is a, is a broad surface that brings uh, the vibration into. These are all brass. This is, all, this is uh, quarter-inch steel. So this is all very stiff materials. This transmits vibration very well. So any vibration that comes in here, it comes straight out of the, through the bottom of the thing into, these, uh, into this platform. It, it, it takes it down to the, the sinks. This is called sinking. You actually sink it like heat sink, but this is a vibration sink. So you sink it down to these pads on the bottom where you sink the vibration and it ends up. Okay, this is very fast. This pulls it out. It pulls out high frequency very well. It pulls things out fast. This, on the other hand, is a little slow. It contains the vibration. It doesn't transmit it down to the floor as, as fast. It is still effective, um, but it's just a different way of going about uh, the issues of vibration. This definitely uh, is, is more so, I think, for, for, uh, vib for floors that vibrate. Um, anything that comes down into this is going to kind of stay in these pods 
um, and not really necessarily leave. I don't know how efficient it's going to be at rushing vibration out of this platform, where this thing is designed around rushing vibration out of the platform into these sinks. So we will, and they, they, they call this decoupling, um, but it really is just non-efficient coupling. It's, 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 it's meant to do a different thing. It's meant to stop the vibration here where this is meant to just push the vibration out of the thing and not hold it. This thing kind of holds the vibration in the stand, takes it out of the speaker or the thing, and then holds it here. But this gets it out of the speaker or the, and the amp and then it, it sinks it down to its, um, you know, the sinks in the, in the bottom. So two very different ways of handling vibration, and I am going to compare both of them. We're going to start by putting an amp. I've got two of each of these. Well, there, one's over there, and then I've got the other one right over there. Um, so I will have a, a pair of mono blocks. We'll put monos on this one. We'll put monos on that one. We'll use these floor standards, see if we can hear the difference. Um, and then we will put the speakers on each of these and see how the different what the difference is between rigid coupling and uh, vibration syncing and uh, like um, soft coupling, if you will, and uh, heat conversion, vibration conversion to heat. Um, made by Max Townsend, um, very um, smart guy. Um, also, this one designed by uh, Robert Makes. Um, very sharp guy as well. Um, and uh, so we will put them head to head. These are two very different pieces with very different functions, but going after the same problem. And let's get to the bottom of it in traditional OCD Mikey Hi-Fi Guy style. We will get to the bottom of these things and find out where the rubber meets the road or where the brass meets the road, if you will. All right. Thanks for joining. See you.